we have Kylie here. She's going to help me out with some nutritional um, advice. You got anything for rib remodeling that I'm going to be getting done on July 15th? I'm super excited about it. Dr. Aziz is going to be doing that. Kylie, what do you got for me? Oh, man. Well, first, once you reach out to me about the nutrition for it, I realized there is a whole different nutrition aspect of rib remodeling completely separate from cosmetic. And so I didn't really put a lot of thought into it until she reached out about what specifically you would need. And now, because it's a relatively new surgery to the US, this has been something that's now going to be so important mm. to understand how you're going to eat for surgery. Now necessarily, you're, you're, how you're gonna eat is gonna be different in, well, nutrition is gonna be different in three different ways for this. You're going to be thinking that you're going through orthopedic surgery and cosmetic surgery at the same time, because you essentially are. Yeah. You are repairing a bone and yep. you are also going through cosmetic. So those are gonna be different nutrients. Okay. So let's talk about repairing a bone. So the first thing as far as labs, you would check a vitamin D and you can get a magnesium level. Those are going to, magnesium and phosphorus are gonna be two minerals that are gonna be part of um, bone healing. Also, you wanna get, you don't have to get calcium level, but calcium is the other um, mineral that you're going to want to include in your diet after um, rib surgery. So those are the labs. So in terms of supplementation, that would be it. It would be calcium, vitamin D, and phosphorus. Those three things are going to be more of a focus on with rib remodeling versus cosmetic. As a cosmetic dietitian, I'm not concerned really about calcium and I'm not really concerned about phosphorus because it's a mineral. So, I mean, it, it's for a bone mineral, but when it comes to rib remodeling, that's a completely different story. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so, in terms of food, you're eating nuts and seeds okay. every day. And okay. that's gonna be your best source for, um, for phosphorus and also um, a little bit for calcium. And then you're gonna want meat-based sources, meat, meat -based sources um, for, all the, for, for all three as well. Okay. Though, and which is going to be the same as um, cosmetic surgery. Okay, now meat, salmon, that's... In, that so is, fatty fish, because fatty fish, okay. vitamin D is where live, is a fat-soluble vitamin, so it lives in fat. And so salmon, tuna, mackerel, and actually sardines are- okay, Good, I like, I like those. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, those are some of the absolute best sources um, for all three of those. Now, the other little difference as well, after recovery, so you're having, you're checking those labs, you're eating more nuts every day. Okay. You're trying to eat a fatty fish at least every day. Okay. Um, and you know, I still would, I still would supplement in vitamin D for sure. Okay. Um, and I would still supplement in some calcium as well. Um, calcium citrate is the most easily absorbed by the body. It's also found in dairy and fortified soy milk. But I would be um, taking those in on a daily as well. Okay. For eating, mm -hmm. you are going to be on a, just a practical basis. You're going to be so it's going to be so tight in there. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be... Yeah, because I'm going to have a corset on. And right. And I think cool. just the overall, like, diaphragm is going to be smaller. Okay. Correct? Like, your whole lower half. I, it's going to be around... Is it the, the it, ribs are... Is it's it lower? The, it's the, the last three okay, yeah. floating ribs on each side. So, six yeah. total, so the last three. Right. So, we're it's focusing on... That is where your stomach is, and so that's going to be compressed. And so, you're going to have a hard time... Um, eating enough food because it's going to be so filling to you. Yeah. Um, and so that is when you are, they always say small meals, but that is really where you're probably going to have to eat every couple hours. Okay. Not a just, big chunk at one time. And just two or 300, cal like probably, you know, two to 300 calories, maybe 10 grams of protein every couple of hours. Okay. And then after you're eating, you're getting up and you're walking around for just about five, 10 minutes and that's gonna help the digestion. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's also, you're also gonna want some low fat as well, um, just to help keep things moving. So, um, so yeah, it's gonna, it's, that's, it's gonna be so fascinating. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited, so excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited for you. I'm excited. I'm I love having you. Excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Thank you, thank you. And I'm also gonna be getting the reverse tummy tuck as well. So I'm also right. going to have scars under right. here too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the that is that. Mm -hmm. We're going to do, do the extra, the extra calcium. Mm -hmm. um, 
well, you're not going to take phosphorus in pill form. Okay. You'll do calcium and vitamin D okay. supplementation. All right, guys, mm -hmm. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And so um, exciting. Kylie, if there's any surgeons out there, where can they contact you to get this in office? Because I, I truly recommend this. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the people that eat healthy before surgery and after surgery, they Huge always difference. heal the fastest, the best, the easiest, the mm -hmm. smoothest. So, well, I should say always, but the majority of them, unless there's something that goes on. But nutrition is so important. So, Kylie, where can they yeah. contact you? So, you can find us at sulinu.com, S-U-L-I-N-U.com. That's going to be the best or on IG, which is sulinu.nutrition. Um, and right now we have, we really have surgeons all over the country selling it on different ways. We're selling it in-house, we're doing it hybrid, we're doing it um, virtual. So it's been really fantastic. Um, whatever we can do to help the patients because they'll see a huge difference. Awesome. This is so great, Kylie. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, you're welcome. This is awesome, guys. Thank you, Kylie. All right.